UCCS defeats Fort Lewis here tonight by a final score of 76 to 74 in one of the most exciting games of the season. In the process, the Mountain Lions improved to 16 and 6 on the season with an RMAC record of 13 and 5. Joining me now is head coach of the men's basketball team, Coach Jeff Culver. Coach, can I get your thoughts after a tough win here tonight, a big win against a very tough Fort Lewis team? Oh, that was a great win. Uh, showed a lot of resilience tonight. Um, we certainly didn't play our best game, but we fought it out. You know, a game that we got down at times and, and weren't really getting into a good offensive flow and uh, still were able to believe in ourselves enough to get over the hump at the end and, and get the victory. So a huge team win tonight. In the second half, the team trailed by as many as 10 points. What was your mindset moving forward, and how confident were you that the Mountain Lions were going to be able to overcome that deficit and get the win here tonight? Well, I thought we played pretty good defense tonight. We just had to stick with it, you know. Plenty of game left, plenty of time left when they, when they built up that lead, and we knew we just had to keep being aggressive offensively, attacking the basket, moving the ball a little bit better. We got a little stagnant at times offensively tonight and certainly during that run. So we just had to stick with the game plan and uh, not try to make a 10-point play, you know, just one possession at a time. And the guys did a good job with that, and then we got right back into it. How about the play tonight of Derek White? He had 38 points one week ago, which was the most points ever scored by a Mountain Lion in conference play. Here tonight, he finished with a game high, 33 points, 13 for 13 from the free throw line, but no points were bigger than the final two in which the Mountain Lions took the lead by two points with three seconds remaining. Can I get your thoughts on Derek White's play here tonight? Well, he's great, and it felt a lot like Pueblo in the sense that our offense was struggling. We weren't getting great movement, uh, and again, like we, you know, credited Pueblo to that, and credit Fort Lewis to their defense. They're stingy, and with the big man Herrera down low, it's tough, you know, uh, to get clean looks at the basket. So, um, you know, another game where Derek did what he had to do to get the offense going for us and to get some points on the board for us. So, uh, he's capable of doing that. You know, last night was a night where he sort of took a back seat, and we had other guys step up. Tonight was a night that we needed him, and he certainly stepped up in a big way. Against, as you mentioned, one of the big, best big men in the Armac, Herrera, but your big man here tonight showed up as well. Dalton Patton with 14.7 rebounds, and Alex Welsh with 10 points, one rebound shy of a double-double. Can you talk about the play of those two individuals here tonight as well? Well, great team defense on Herrera, but really good individual defense out of Dalton Patton tonight. Holding Herrera to nine points. Um, and the way we attacked him and got him to foul out of this game was huge. Uh, big difference in the game. Welsh had another great game for us, too, offensively. A shot was struggled a little bit, but he was able to get the boards, attack the basket, made some nice passes tonight. Uh, he's another one of those like Derek that can do a lot of special things offensively, and we certainly need him to continue to do that moving forward. Well, tonight was a huge game with playoff implications. As a result of tonight, the Mountain Lions now in third place in the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference with Fort Lewis on your trail still, but you split on the season. Can I get your thoughts about the potential to host the first ever playoff game in UCCS men's basketball history? Well, that'd be great. I mean, that was one of our primary team goals this year was to host a playoff game. So we're you know, we're on that path right now, but we still have four games. And the way this league is, you have one bad weekend and you can slip from third place to sixth place. You know, that's how close the standings are, and there's a lot of capable teams. we got a tough road trip next weekend, uh, so we don't have any time to rest. We don't have any time to think about hosting uh, a playoff. Uh, we're on that path, but we also know that there's still a lot of work to be done. So you mentioned next weekend on the road, you're going to play Shatteron State and Black Hill State, both on the road. Can I get your thoughts on those two matchups? Two tough places to play, you know, first and foremost. And Shadron's one of those scary teams where they got a lot of good athletes. they got some good players. Um, they've lost a couple tough ones, but they've won a couple good good uh, games too. So I'm playing at Shadron. You know you're going to get get their best, you know, and we're at that point of the season that they're fighting for playoff uh, uh, spots too, and uh, everybody's got that mindset now, knowing that every game is a playoff game, every game has huge playoff implications. So, uh, you know, and then Saturday, Black Hill State, another tough place to play, another team that's right there in the playoff hunt. So we'll get tested. Uh, we're going to have to really get back to work this week, clean up some things that, you know, again, we didn't play our best basketball this weekend and we survived two wins. We had to clean some things up to be able to head on the road. 
What specifically did you see here tonight that you want to see improved by the Mountain Lions in the next coming games that specifically you want to clean up or that you didn't like here tonight? Well, consistency on both ends of the floor, especially on the offense, I felt tonight we weren't very consistent with our energy levels and how hard we're cutting and attacking the basket and our spacing was off and uh, you know, I thought we got caught watching the ball a little bit too much. So we got to get back to moving well without the ball, We got to get, which leads to us moving the ball better. Um, and, you know, from Friday night's uh, win, we gave up 24 offensive rebounds, you know, so we got some improvement to go on the boards. I thought we did a better job tonight, but we still did not rebound the way we're capable of. So, um, you know, a little bit of everything this week, you know, we're going to hit, we got to polish up some defensive things. We certainly got to work on the rebounding both ends of it. And uh, our offensive movement needs, a, needs some improvement heading into next weekend. Well, even in spite of those things, a big win here tonight. You top Fort Lewis by a final score of 76 to 74. Huge win here tonight. Congratulations, Coach, and good luck next weekend on the road. Thanks, MJ. Appreciate it. Thank you, Coach.